Good evening, fellas. We are back at it once again. So, last time we left off, we had to deliver Mr. Captain his meal. So, let's see if I can find it within 10 minutes. Or maybe I just got auto TP there. Yep. Oh, it's an email from Xion. Oh, I'm Xion. Email for Xion. Oh my god, I thought my game crashed. Uh. Oh, okay. No, this is actually new. Uh, I'm sitting over a new version of the EVS. EVS. Rallies. Cosmos Simulator. Wine Long Asteroid. Be saved. Ready to connect your fights in order. Please connect your action gear to the plate. In order to do so, please connect your character to the EBS plate. Press the triangular button. Press the triangle button under the condition. Oh, okay. I'm an idiot. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna lie, I completely forget about this thing. <clears throat> the EBS, the EBS is very handy. You can revisit places you've been to before. Yeah, it's possible to get items you forgot by using the EBS, the EBS two. Eves, you gonna call it EBS? That's right. Apparently, there are some items that are beneficial to collect, which means it's better to take a roundabout way around the map. It's good to explore the surrounding area even when you have the destination in mind. Wouldn't it be nice to have the time to take the scenic route? It's just the same thing. Yes, okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I read this. I'm pretty sure I read all of these. Okay. Get me out of here. Holy crap, this place is big. Let's go down here. So we're looking for sleeping quarters. I think. Uh, okay, this is not sleeping quarters. Chill zone. There's like, what? There's like four people on this ship? Why is this place so goddamn big? So I, I'm assuming these are all the same. Let's go check. Okay, basically the same. There's a dude over here. Oh, the fuck? You seem, quite you seem quite worn out. Don't push yourself too hard. It's bad for your health. How about getting some rest? Uh, no, I think I'm good, dog. Appreciate it, though. He has a little bow tie. It's actually so sick. It's hard. Or, oh, God damn it. I see. That's too bad. Please don't push yourself too hard. The straps? A fucking revolver? Go that way. So yeah, I guess in the last video, I was talking about how I have this newfound vigor on how I wanted to actually get back into this, and then I immediately don't do anything for five days because I go back up my word like every five seconds. Bridge. What's over here? Ooh, perfect. So I need to go to the... Oh, I need to go down. Down and to the right. Okay. So yeah. Um, I believe what? It's been a little bit under a month now. Um, I went to go see the Connect the... Not Connect the World. Um, the Breaking Dimensions concert. Oh my god, honestly. That was probably the best time of my life. I'm not even gonna lie. Did I go too far? Dog, where do I go? Take the courage of the commander vehicle to do not hurry. Uh okay. Uh yeah, I honestly had a lot of fun. I it was my first time being to New York, so that was chill. Honestly, um, where I live now, it's honestly just fucking crazy. Just how 
Like, people were just outside chilling. Like, they weren't... I don't want to say they weren't doing anything. But they were just kind of... Did I just go through the door? They were just, like, playing. Like, just, like... I, we would, uh, like, pass by, like, a, like a tennis court. Or, like, a Batman court. And it's just, like... It's just packed. And it's... It was wild, because where I'm at... Well, first of all, it's too goddamn hot, so... No one really goes outside. Um... But it's honestly just nice. I didn't really talk to people because I'm a bitch, but that's beside the point. Okay, I do not know how to read the map. I'm so lost. Wait. It's restaurant, gallery, passenger cabins. Uh, I forgot where he said he was. I'm just going to check all these areas then. Because <clears throat> we went to all the cabins and I didn't see him. But yeah, it was also it was also just crazy seeing all these fucking VTuber fans. I don't care about you, um, because where I am, I don't really have like a lot of um. I don't know the right word. I guess friends that I can talk to VTubers with. I'm like, hey, um, fucking. Uh, all alive, um, oh. Oh, it would be like, um, like, um, oh, um, uh, Advent's coming out, and they're like, who the fuck is Advent? And I'm like, oh, we're like, damn, and be like, oh, the new, you know, the, the new Hollow Live gen, and they're like, oh, like, who the fuck cares? And I'm like, damn, it could be all that, but it was fun. I was screaming my lungs out for, ah, it was just so good. I honestly do need to go to the next one. I don't know when the next one's gonna be. Um, but I absolutely need to go to it. And honestly, yeah, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this. Like, this is I have it written down on my notebook, and, I, and I'm looking at it. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm saying, but it was fun. I loved it. I need to go again. Um, the songs, all oh my days. I've written down some of the songs on here too. Like, where is it? Day. Oh, we're seeing cosmic. Okay, I'm shut up. So we finally meet. Now, where does the real you exist? Nobody's here. I don't trust that little shit. Everybody down on the floor! 
This facility is now under control of the UTIC organization. Any resistance whatsoever will be met with deadly force. So don't even think about trying anything. As long as you follow our orders, you will not be harmed. We appreciate your cooperation. the same archetype from before? You know, sometimes I forget just how, like, this game's not rated T, I don't think. Because what is it? I think Xenoblade was? Even then, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Um, going back to the actual concert itself. It started off fucking strong, dude. Like, all the songs they played was oh, fucking fire. They, um, what did they start off with? What the fuck have I gotten myself into? Um, they started off with Reunion, with Myth, and oh my god, dude, not Myth, was it Myth? I think so. Oh my god, now I can't remember. No, it wasn't. Was it? I'm going insane. But yeah, they started off with Reunion. I can't remember, no, I don't think it was... I, uh, I'm going insane. It should be. I don't think it's reunion. Or, no, I know it's reunion. Shut up, phone. I don't think it is. Okay, no, I am going. I am correct. I thought it was going insane. Okay, so it started off with Reunion, which was, not gonna lie, there were some people were bawling, and I can't blame them, dude. When I saw that, when I when I heard him play it, I was, honestly, I've never really, like, gone like that before, but I was like, damn. It really has been. It has been a long time. I, I also still can't get over the fact that I'm shooting people with curry. Um... And then Carbonated Love played. Oh my god, whoever made Carbonated Love the next song. 
they're fucking they are such a goat I love carbonated love so much it was such like like reunion was the um the kind of like in my opinion was like the whole like the holy shit like they they well they've done it but they you know they they did it they did it song and then carbonated love I feel like was just the all right let's let's no more fucking around we're popping off right now and Iris fucking killed it, dude. Carbonate Love is one of my top tens. Such a good fucking song. And then I broke down all the songs just so I could talk about them. What did I? And then then fucking Fuwa Moku came on. The fucking I. I don't want to talk too much because I think the I don't know when that cutscene is gonna start. Is it? Dude here, I'm gonna talk to him and see. Oh, Chaos, were you talking with Cosmos? No, she seemed to be asleep. I don't want to bother her. I'll try again later. Oh, that's too bad. But she was quite beautiful, even asleep. Why, thank you. By the way, have you seen the commander? I saw the man... I saw the commander go into the maintenance lab. Just go up the elevator on the left in the hangar just up ahead. Really? You're great. Dude, I can't read. What a stroke. <laughs> Let me save. And, um, yeah, because on day one, I sat next to, like, the group of, like, the ruffians. And, oh my goodness. They were fucking going nutty. It was so funny. Uh, oh. Nah, I shouldn't say funny, but it was so, it was so good. Um... Then what what would I play next? Where's my Oh then it's not a phase by by Fauna and Mume? Oh my goodness. My two emo queens, am I right? Uh sure. That was such a good song. I'm Holy shit. I'm excited for when that actually comes out. Um What else? Oh, wait. Then. Well, I was gonna say, then speaking about. Sp speaking about the goth girls, you got fucking Shiori coming out with her. I don't even know how to say this. World execute me. It's a fucking stinger, dude. And then that fucking face. Oh my goodness. It was all over my. Oh. Huh. You. Oh. Um. I didn't see you in your room. I, I thought you might be a little hungry. What were you doing? I was looking at her. At Cosmos? With a gun in your hand? Oh, uh, this. I it's a bad habit. I see. Well, you are a soldier after all. I know someone with a habit like that. He's always carrying a sword around with a weird grin plastered on his face. Don't you think that's dangerous? Uh, yeah. That's definitely dangerous. So this is the android that can take on the Gnosis. She sure doesn't look like it. Yeah. Regardless of what she looks like, she's still a weapon. I suppose you're right. Before we left the Woglinde, what was his name? Lieutenant Virgil? He was killed by this android's battle algorithm, wasn't he? I'm not trying to blame you. Logic, reason, they can bring about death. Happens all the time. I never thought she would ever do something like that. You programmed her basic logic architecture, right? Yes, pretty much. I always thought of her like a daughter, or more like a friend, maybe. But... I see. Well, 
I doubt we could have saved the lieutenant from that situation anyway. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. I noticed you eat very neatly. Hmm? Ah, uh, that's part of who I am. At least, now, that is. So, what were you doing on the Woglinde? Why... why do you ask? Just... wondering. You somehow seemed... different from the other crew members. The Woglinde task force was assembled hastily. Besides, I'm a soldier. I'll go to where I'm assigned. A uh, soldier? Well, looks like we've lost them. Yeah, thanks to your linking directly to the main controls. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I just received a UMN pulse. Preparing the long distance jump to the Federation capital of Fifth Jerusalem. Momo, we're not going back to the subcommittee headquarters. What? Why not? I was told to escort you to the autonomous government of Second Milsha. I'm sorry. Those were my orders. All right. Now setting course for Milshan star system. I've received word that the 100 series is on board a ship headed for Second Milsha. Well, that was fast. Once she's safely transferred to the UMN control center on Second Milsha, we'll finally have a little peace of mind. It's all such a bother, though. It would have been so much easier to perform the analysis here. We can't decode the protection in that realion here. We have to send her to the UMN control center located at the former Vector Transfer Gate control facility. That's right. Besides, the entire area within a few dozen light years of old Milsha has been sealed off ever since that incident 14 years ago. So this certainly beats traveling through regular space. You are King Mizrahi. You really outdid yourself this time. Oh, don't worry about it. You're absolutely right. By the way, do you really think the Y data is hidden within that realion? We have conclusive evidence that she holds the code to unlock the UMN transfer gate leading to the sealed off sector. Aside from that, she's pretty much a mystery. We'll just have to open her up and see. If she doesn't have it, we'll be required to delay the Zohar project. How will we explain that to the Council? Even if it's lost, we still have one other lead. Let me pull up my documents. This image was processed from the only remaining surveillance camera. The picture's unclear, but that boy served as Joachim's assistant. Judging from the time frame, we believe he was somehow involved with the Y data. Where did the boy come from? The records are missing. The only information we have is that he was 14 and studying at the University of Bormio. But even that's just second-hand information from Mizrahi. He got into Bormio at 14? Must have been pretty smart. You don't know what happened to him? Correct. It's currently under investigation. If he's alive, he'd be 28 years old now. This research paper is on the secondary effects of the Hilbert Wave. The Hilbert effect? Do you think there's a chance he slipped into Vector? Back when UTIC was still the Mizrahi Cerebral Sciences Research Center, Mizrahi's main patron was none other than Vector. It's certainly a possibility. 
There's no concrete evidence, of course. Dr. Mizrahi, please continue your investigation of this issue. Yes, of course. In any case, our first priority is to get access to the old Milsha sector. Our hands are tied until we recover the original Zohar located there. All right, what do we do now? Oh, the crew was well. It was very good to be there to say thank you for dinner. Not try to thank you for dinner. You're welcome. I hope you really liked it. Uh, good night. Then we're just gonna head back to the fellas. Actually, we have we don't. But yeah, <laughs> it's just sounds so weird because I keep having having to stop. And I'm just bad at talking too, so that doesn't help either. But yeah, and then because the guests there were, it was. Oh fuck! Hey, Miss Vector, if you're just lounging around, come to the bridge for a sec. What could it be? I wonder if something happened. Um. But since the 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 guests that were there was uh who was it? It was it was Muna, Suise, and Corone, and. Honestly, in my opinion, three bangers. Three bangers they all did. Because I think the first song from one of them was the fucking, um, was to say, uh, I don't even know how to say it. I'm saying the Bibbidi Ba. That one was, oh my goodness. It was so funny because. Um, I sat on like the second level of the theater and I could just see people down like down doing the fucking dance It was so funny. It was so good. I Also did kind of do it as well, but I Honestly did not want to smack the fucking anyone. So I just didn't do it as much, you know I don't think I have the code for this. Yeah um, What else? Oh, and then um not Fauna. Um, Kiara played Pineapple. <laughs> it was... Honestly, I was so confused. Because I've personally never listened to Pineapple. So I was like, what the fuck? Like, what? Like, what is happening? Not as in, like, the song's bad, but I was so confused. Because people... People were just saying, oh my god, it's Pineapple. And I'm like, dude... Do I just not know anything? I, in fact, do not know anything. I am... In fact, a fake fan is what I'm trying to say. Um, then our promise played with fucking promise, dude. Oh my god, I'm not even going to lie. I oh, where am I? I I think it was the closest I came to crying. Oh, and then and then Fauna went next with her fucking stay with me, and I. It almost happened, man. It almost happened. I almost did cry. It was such a good song. And it was Mayoshi was singing it, man, on day one. Oh, what else? And then Ame sang Burning. That one was good. I I don't I don't know how to say this. It's not like the Ame enjoyers. Were eating good. Okay, they were absolutely eating good those two days. I I underappreciate Ame. And then Gura Gura played the Hatsune Miku song. Oh my goodness! It was <laughs> it's gonna. I listened to this song. Oh, world is mine. But. Um, I used to listen to that song religiously when I was younger, you know, because I'm such an old fuck. Um, and I heard it and I was like, no way. And she, I was like, no way she got away with this. And she fucking did. And she cooked. She fucking cooked and she ate well. Oh. Um. I know I'm not going the right direction, but honestly, I'm just kind of exploring so I can yap. 
Um, and then they they end they didn't end it off, but they ended it with um, with the breaking dimension, which of course fire. Oh, a little puzzle. Uh, disarm key. I do not have the disarm key. Okay, we can come back. Um, yeah, they their final song because I don't know if it was shown in the actual live stream. I'm not too sure. I honestly have no idea. Um, was breaking dimensions. And Bringer Dimensions is a fucking certified banger. That is such, it's such a good song. And unironically, it does break dimensions. Um, and then the uh, encore song, which I said earlier, I have no idea if they if they um played on the YouTube side, not on the YouTube side, the um streaming side, was uh Connect the World, brother, brother. It was such a good ending. Like, it was such a good song to end on. The... It was... Oh, I was I'm just... I'm just... I'm nerdgasming right now. But it was honestly just a really great song to end it on. And then... Honestly... That was... That was... That was day one. Day one was so much fun. Um... <laughs> I felt bad. What the fuck? Um, I did feel bad for the people who just kind of lived there because um, even before the concert and after the concert it was just a group of what how was it essentially 3,000 people just on the street it was so funny and then I don't know who else went there but like I haven't I didn't eat before the concert started so I went there was a Taco Bell across the street so I went there and oh my goodness, I was one of the first people in there. I feel bad for whoever got in later. Let me see this. Hey, Chief. Oh, Alan, what's the matter? Um, Chief, I've been thinking a lot since then. And they seem to be pretty good people, so I'm thinking of trying to meet them halfway bit by bit. Wow, Alan, I'm surprised. Usually so hard-headed with your logic and preconceptions. Preconceptions? So I was a little worried that you'd become one of, well, aliens. Good luck. Bye. Oh, that's not it. Oh no, that's not it. That is my efforts. I'm dumb. Yeah, but um, what else? Because I got to New York on Friday. I did. I think I literally ate, and then I fell asleep. Because I woke up early. Because I needed to go to the um, talk to this person. So I could essentially push triangle on this. No. I want to see. I want to see how this works. Okay, there we go. I have. Do I care? Kinda, but I don't know if I care enough. Okay, I don't care right now. Actually, I kind of do care. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I don't have a need to go back right now. But yeah, I had to wake up early, early, as in, like, I think it was I woke up at 6-ish to basically take a shower and go to fucking Teams, to go to fucking Times Square and get in the Gundam, Gundam baseline. Dude, holy shit. I'm not going to say anything else because I have a feeling there's a cutscene. Look at me. What the? There it is again. That's so weird. What is it? It's the catapult deck. There seems to be something wrong with the hatch. Air pressure? No leaks at the moment. I wonder if it's the electrical system. Shall I take a look at it? Uh, that'd be great. Doesn't look like a leak, but be careful, just in case. Got it. So we have to go back to the hangar. Uh, PM announcement. Oh, I just want to ask for your help from fair to the gate jump. Great time. Can you go check out the catapult? Sure. Uh, I think it'll probably be okay. The catapult on the ship is jerry-rigged. Well, I can't get it. I can't exactly get into... I can't read. It's fucked. It's fucked! Does it mean you have equipment that violates Federation laws? Huh? Uh, looking at me like that won't work. I can't tell you at all. I can't tell you any more of... <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot going on. 
But don't worry about me, I'm a mere guest here. This is nothing. The captain and Charlie really abused the catapult, so it's probably falling apart. Okay. Is there a map to indicate said catapult? Because I'm assuming it's at the very bottom. But I could be wrong. Uh... Okay, so it is... Three, and I'm gonna down three. Okay. Uh, I do not know where the three is. Um, but yeah, I woke up early to go to the Gunna Base tour over in Times Square. And if I remember, I might throw in a picture or two. It was honestly fun. I mean, I was able, I got there at 7.30 ish, and I still had to wait in maybe an hour line. Let, but let me let me fix that real quick. Um, I had to wait in an hour line to receive the tickets to buy Gundams, which I've I've never been to one before, so I honestly had no idea how it works. But um, yeah, I think what time did I actually have it right next to me? I can check. I basically got the ticket to shop to enter the shop at 2 p.m. So I got there at about 7, got my ticket at about 9-ish, give or take. And then um, I had to wait until 2, which was... I unfortunately did miss the... Um, I'm not meeting greet, like the, like the park meetup for the concert, but Gundam's over concert, am I right? Um, yeah, um... During that time, there was this little, um, this little store I went to. Did I write down the name of the store? In fact, did not. But I went to this little store that sell that was supposedly selling um, some like hollow merch. And honestly, because they have like an actual like bookstore on the bottom, and then they have like the anime stuff on top. I it was really nice. Like. Um, if I do it again, I I should read. I'm just yapping. Uh, hmm, nothing seems to be wrong. Am I gonna be spit out in this space? No shot, right? They want to do that to little old me. All right. If there's nothing there, I guess we're fine. Good work. Oh, we're gonna get jumped. Come on back. Must have been the wind, hey? Must have been the wind. But yeah, if I remember, I'll put a little picture. Because there's they had this, like, sick-ass piece of artwork. Like, um, right as you enter the shop. And it was so pretty. So pretty. So nice. Um, but at that shop, I picked up some Watabe merch. Oh my goodness, my Watabe shine is growing. I tried to see if they had any, you know, fauna. They had a lot. I think it was... I think I got there, unfortunately, at, like, the wrong time. Um, it's like, a good chunk of stuff was sold out. So, I think I missed out on a couple of EN members. They had a bunch of, like... was considering buying Bay's standee. But they were pretty expensive, so... I think I... I didn't think. I just got the two Watames. I got the acrylic stand and the, um... A little acrylic um, what's the word keychain I got that they oh I also got the Xenoblade 2 art book that was the other thing they were selling like a bunch of art books and out of just curiosity I looked to see if they had like any I would care for and they had a they had a, a couple that I really thought about buying but I bought the Xenoblade 2 one because I bought the third one and it looks pretty so now I need to find well first I need to play the first game and then I need to get this art book but yeah i did that and then i still had about a four hours to kill in new in fucking times square so i think I, I just walked around everywhere um i saw the like the crispy the crispy cream the crispy crusty crusty crab crispy cream um i went to the m&m m, &M, &M store 
Um, I sat in a Starbucks because I was thirsty. And then... Yeah. Oh, I really forgot about it. I also did that um, little build the workshop. The, that little build the workshop. And I built my little... My little... Uh, my little entry grade grandpappy. Looks like an emergency switch. Uh, don't press it. I think that's a great idea. I keep forgetting. Can't go this way. Um, I built my little entry grade grandpappy. I think I honestly kind of want to use him as like my customization dummy. Um, because I, I bought a Zaku that I want to like use as my test dummy. Um. I could also show the haul that I bought from the Gundam store, if I remember. I probably won't because I'm a dummy. But yeah. That was about it. All that on day one. I don't think I want to talk about day two until mayhaps the next episode. Because I have a feeling or this we're going on to an hour. And I'm assuming it's cutscene time, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna shut up. Yep, you got it. Please transmit your flight plan. Thank you. Cargo is scrap material. Destination is the Milshan Star System. Oh, you appear to have some excess cargo mass. Yeah, we got a little carried away. There will be a surcharge on the bill sent to the Kukai Foundation. Will that be all right? Yeah, that's fine. Very well. I had a feeling they'd notice. Well, we did pick up some extra junk. Ah, nothing to worry about, right? We always go over the limit. That's true. You could have failed Vector for it. You crazy? Things are already complicated enough as is. Mm-hmm. Are we about to have air combat right now? You've got to be kidding me! This is ridiculous! And I'm saying those orders are unacceptable! Oh, forget it. It's not doing me any good talking to you. Get the director on the line now! Yes, ma'am. Just a moment, please. Chief, did you see how scared she was? You're even scaring me. You don't have to yell, you know? What do you expect? How could you expect me not to yell about this? Uh, oh. Director. What is the meaning of this? It means exactly what it says. I see. Unless this is a figment of my imagination, it looks like it says that as soon as Cosmos receives her secondary equipment, we're to turn her over to the second R&D division on second Milsha and return immediately to headquarters. Like I said, it means exactly what it says. This was the plan from the beginning. I don't see why this is such a problem. Director! Xion, please don't give me a hard time about this. I understand how you feel. But I've read your report and it appears as though there are no major problems with Cosmos. No, sir. 
You don't understand at all. Are you listening to me? She's moving around on her own accord. I can't turn her over to the second division before determining the cause. It's still far too dangerous to use her at full battle spec. And besides, you should know full well that I understand her better than anyone else. <sighs> Toga, she informed me about what happened on the Woglinde. Fortunately, we didn't suffer any human casualties, but it sounded like it could have been catastrophic. Do you really expect me to leave you and the others in such circumstances? I'm well aware of the risks. Even so! Director! All right. Have it your way. I'll smooth things over with the people upstairs. Miyuki can take care of the paperwork. Thank you, sir. One condition. Don't do anything foolish. The moment you sense even the slightest bit of danger, get out of there immediately. I don't ever want to see a repeat of what happened two years ago. Got it? Understood, sir. Hey, good going, Chief! I just did what I had to do. I'm just so glad that you're safe. Oh, you should have notified us sooner that you were okay. Hmm. The military sent us a notice saying that you were killed in the skirmish. The whole department was in an uproar. You have a lot of admirers. Oh, come on. Stop joking around. No, it's true. So, what about me? <laughs> oh, hey, Alan. Didn't see you there. Didn't see me here? Hey, I was missing too, you know. You're kidding. I didn't even notice. Didn't notice? Well, what about the others? No one said a thing. Guess uh... they just forgot about you. You don't really make a strong impression on people. But hey, it's great that you're okay too, I guess. Yeah, thanks. That makes me feel a whole lot better. <sighs> Take a look at this. Wow. I had no idea there are ships that small that can enter hyperspace. one of our products. What about the other small ship? I'm sorry, I have no idea. There's a distress call coming from the small ship. Why are we helping them? We've got enough trouble just dealing with you guys. Damn! We're in their line of fire! What? Get out of the way!
There's a hit to Sector 4. Outer hull partially damaged. They've done it now, those bastards! Oh. Captain... Shut up! Any enemy of theirs is our ally. Tony! Aye, aye, sir. That's like it. What? Wait a second! You're gonna take a ship like this into battle? In hyperspace? You gotta be kidding! You better believe it. Don't worry about it. With Elsa's logic drive and my immaculate piloting skills, there's nothing we can't handle. Let's do it! guys must like trouble. You okay back there? Yep. I'm fine. That's what I like to hear. There's no way they can avoid all that! No! It looks like this is the end of the line. I'm sorry I couldn't see you through this safely. It's okay. I know. Thanks for everything you've done. Are you scared? A little. But I'm okay. Because you're here with me. I see. vessel occupants. Can you make it up on your own? The ship shielding should cover you a bit, so if you put on your spacesuits and use the hull as a shield... Roger. Neither of us here are human, so I'm sure we can make it. Status. Their only goal is to capture you. They won't do anything wrong. Yes, sir. Mm. Damn it. And 
Intruder alert! They're on the catapult deck! Take them on. Prepare for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Seal the internal barrier doors. Roger. I'll take the corridor. I'll go too. No, it's too dangerous. I can't let you go by yourself, Chaos. Don't worry. I've got Cosmos with me. Right, Cosmos? Yes. I will eliminate the enemy units. But don't damage the ship. Understand? Jesus, everything just went everything just everything is going crazy right now but that doesn't matter if anything's going crazy because I think I'm gonna end this here this music is very loud I'm going to turn it down just a wee bit but yeah I'm gonna end this here um I appreciate you listen to me yap um I don't even know if you can form a whole sentence out of what I just said um, to this entire video, but it is what it is. So yeah, I'm going to end this here, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.